In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix Warzone 2.0 crashing, not launching, or freezing issues on your Windows 10 or 11 PC. So there can be a few reasons why the game keeps crashing and not working as it should be, so you will need to do each method that I'll show you in this video until one of them resolves the issue that you're having. So before I get started, I just want to say I will pop a link in the description below to a guide that we will do that I will add more methods to if I come across any. So if none of the methods in this video helped you out, then check out that link as it might have more methods that you can do. So the first thing that we want to do is just ensure that Windows is up to date. And we can do this easily by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to settings, clicking on update and security, and then clicking on the check for updates button. Also, if you do have a new feature update available, like you can see I do there, Download and install that as well. So once you've updated Windows, the next thing that you want to do is just ensure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. To find out what graphics card you have, you can right click on the start menu icon and then go to device manager. If you then expand display adapters, you will then see your graphics card. So as you can see here, I've got an Nvidia GeForce GTX 1660 Super, which means I need to go to the Nvidia website and download the latest driver for my Nvidia graphics card. If you're not sure how to download and install the latest driver for your graphics card, then I will add some links in the description below to our website where I have done some guides on how you can do this. So now that you've updated Windows and your graphics card driver, the next thing that you want to do is also close down any background programs or apps that you have open before launching Warzone 2. So close everything down, so if you have Discord open, MSI Afterburner, OBS Studio, a web browser, a music player, anything like that, close it all down and then launch Warzone 2.0 and see if that resolved the issue. If updating Windows and your graphics card driver and also closing down all background apps and programs didn't help fix the issue that you're having with Warzone 2.0, then the next thing that you need to do is unplug all devices that are currently plugged into your computer, apart from your mouse and keyboard. So if you've got speakers plugged in, a controller, a USB stick, a microphone, anything like that, unplug all of these devices out of the USB ports and then launch the game and see if that helped, as one of these devices could easily be causing the game to crash and not launch. So once you've done that, and if also that didn't help, then the next thing that we want to do is ensure that it's not your security software that's causing the problem. So if you have a third party security program installed, like Norton, Kaspersky, AFAST, anything like that, McAfee, either disable it, or if it does have the option, put it into a game mode or a passive mode, and then launch the game and see if that helped. Just keep in mind when you do disable your security software, you might not be protected from security threats. So if the game worked while your security software was disabled, then you need to add the game to the allow list in your security program. So I can't show you how to do this because I don't have all the security software installed on my computer, but I'm sure you can quite easily find out how you can do it by typing it in on Google. So if it wasn't your security software that's causing the issue, then the next thing that we want to do is rename our profile settings. And we can do this by opening up our documents in File Explorer. Once you're in your documents folder, you now need to find the Call of Duty folder and open this up. And you'll then see the Players folder. You need to right click on this folder and go Rename. And you then need to just type BK on the end and press Enter. So this is now reset all your Call of Duty Warzone 2 settings back to their original default values. Go ahead and launch the game now and see if that resolved the issue. As you may have set a setting previously, that was causing the game to not launch. If that didn't help, then you can always rename this folder back to players and delete the new one that gets created to then restore your old settings back. So the next thing that you want to do is just open up Warzone 2. I'm going to go ahead and open my game now. Once you have Warzone open, you now need to select the settings cog in the top right hand corner and you then need to click on graphics. Next, you need to select the display tab and we then need to scroll down. You now need to ensure that vSync gameplay and vSync menus is turned off. 
Once you've toggled these to off, go ahead and try the game now. If that wasn't the issue, then the next thing that you want to do is change the screen refresh rate. So as you can see, mine is currently on 144. If yours is set really high, then try turning it down. So for example, I could go ahead and try 60 and then see if that resolves the issue. If you're already using a low value number, then try turning it up if you can. Depending on what monitor you have will depend on what sort of refresh rates you can use. So if none of that helped, then the next thing that you need to do is just close down wall zone. The next thing that we're going to do is clear the battle.net cache. So we can do this easily within File Explorer, but first we need to make sure that battle.net app is completely closed. So ensure you're not currently running it and also check in your system tray to make sure that it's not currently open. Next, we need to right click on the start menu icon and go to task manager. And you now need to just ensure that there's no battle.net running within your background processes. So if you just have a quick little scroll through, I can see there that battle.net is not currently running, which is all good. If it is running in your background processes, then just right click on it and then go end task. So we can now open up File Explorer. Once open, you now need to click in the address bar at the top and we then need to do the percentage symbol and then type in program data. And you then need to do the percentage symbol again and press enter. Next, we need to open up the Blizzard Entertainment folder. And you then need to go into the battle.net folder. And you will then see a folder that says cache. Open this folder up and then select everything within this folder by going control and A. And then right click and go delete. Once all that's deleted, now go ahead and launch the battle.net app again. And then try launching Warso and see if that helped. If that didn't help, then the next thing that we want to do is ensure that none of the game files have become either corrupted or missing. And to do this, we need to open up the battle.net app. Once open, you then need to select the games tab and then select Warzone 2. You will then see in the bottom left hand corner, the settings cog symbol. You need to click onto the settings cog and you then need to click on scan and repair and then click on begin scan. This is now going to ensure that none of the game files, like I said, have become either corrupted or missing. If an issue is detected, then the battle.net app will attempt to repair the file that's having the problem. So once that's finished, go ahead and launch the game and see if that helped. If that didn't help, then the next thing that I would suggest is to try reinstalling the game. So when you do reinstall the game, install it to a different drive within your computer if possible just in case it is an issue with the hard drive that you currently have the game installed on. So other than that, the next thing I'd suggest is go onto that link in the description below to a guide that we will do on how to fix crashing issues with Warzone 2, as it may have more methods that I didn't get to add into this video. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.